to thank them because there's 12 of them that flew up from LA to do this for us. So ladies and gentlemen, along with their friend Josh Kuhn, a USC professor and author, please give it up for Ozo Motley. Yeah. Vaya. Ya llegó el feo. Our story begins in the 15th century, when the Aztec god of music and dance had a partner in crime, a small mischievous monkey that they called Ozo Motley. One of the 20 figures on the ancient ritual Mexican calendar, the monkey sported an earring and wore a crew cut. He was a shapeshifter, a transformer, a changeling. And it was believed that men who were born under the sign of the monkey were fated to grow up to be singers and dancers, fated to have many friends in life, even fated to walk with princes and lords. But in the 21st century, at the edge of global identity, at the edge of cities in the midst of ceaseless change in our broken, broken world, tonight we'd like to present to you a new gospel of the monkey. And the gospel of the monkey goes like this. There will be pain and there will be music to ease it. Injustice will be survived by protest. Inequity survived by coalition. Culture should be preserved and mixed up and mashed together. The local is the global. The city is the world. Sound is community waiting to be born. And perhaps most importantly, if there's going to be a revolution, let it begin on a Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh. Get your hands up, stiff, dive, socialize, get ready for the Saturday night. Get your hands up, stiff, dive, socialize, get ready for the Saturday night. Get your hands up, dip, dip, dive, socialize, getting ready for the Saturday night. Get your hands up, dip, dive, socialize, get ready. Imagine waking up, solidarity is ever ten. How many moves and time is irrelevant? Peaceful to places, the message basic can raise fists to sit in, resist the change. Shit, beat my scenario to the future, bro. 2020 and some number a year ago. Your people rose up, government rose up. Worldwide block party, everybody shows up. Up on rooftops, ghettos and hot spots. People celebrate, no more souls rot, no more bloodshed, no more false deficit. Even hip hop gets a fucking facelift. The latest fashion, stock market. Crashing. Saturday is not like the party cracking. If the time and the day is right, the revolution will begin this Saturday night. Come on, dip, dive, socialize, get ready for the Saturday night. Get your hands up, dip, dive, socialize, get ready for the Saturday night. Come on, hit, say, dip, dip, dive, socialize, get ready for the Saturday night. Dip, dive, socialize, get ready for the Saturday night. It was Easter Sunday, 1991, when Raul Avino was shot to death in Northeast Los Angeles. A spray of gang bullets caught him in the torso, ending his life after only 25 years. But a few years later, his brother Azdrew memorialized him in a rollicking song that allowed the living to dance with the dead that allowed Raul to come back to life for one more dance on the dance floor with his mother. They called the song Cumbia de los Muertos, the Cumbia of the Dead. And in the middle of the song's horn-soaked rhythm, it broke down into an eerie dub. We ask God to bless these festivities. We give shouts to these victims of wrongful death. We wipe sadness clear. We use the music of celebration to keep these teenagers from becoming urban pallbearers. Because that's one thing you do with the edge. You face down struggle with the weaponry of festivity. Tristeza, 
Son los chistes, la alegría Es el baile de los queridos De los queridos del pasado Mira cómo baila mi mamá Bailando con mi hermano del pasado Sus espíritus se juntan bailando Y en alegría y gozando Cumbia, cumbia Pero que baila y cumbia, cumbia Pero que rica y cumbia, cumbia Pero que mira How many hip hop, salsa, funk, Arabic, jarocho, dancehall, samba bands can claim that they owe their existence to a labor protest and a union fight? These guys can, because back in 1995, we started a cultural community center dedicated to arts and inner city youth, and we called it the Peace and Justice Center. And in order to raise money for that site, these guys held a series of concerts that pulled musicians together from all over Los Angeles. And it was out of those protests and out of those concerts that this monkey started to speak its mind. And ever since, Ozo's been making their own brand of people's music, music that's equal parts protest and party, music that's full of anger and unrest, but also full of hope and full of promise, full of the belief that other worlds are possible if we will only just listen for them. Because there will be darkness. But look, up ahead. Ya viene el sol, here comes the sun. of Los Angeles actually be captured in one single band sound? Could all of the styles that they were mixing up actually be making all these Filipino b-boys I was watching hit the deck and do head spins and break dance? Could music this banging actually be coming from self-professed members of the Communist Party? Even back then it was clear this was not just music. It's what I would call an audiotopia. It was a rehearsal for a world waiting to be born. And it's a world that could say, we don't take you around Los Angeles, we take you around the world. And a world that could say, what we fuse in our music, we hope to see fused in the world. Just a few days after the attacks on September 11th, 2001, while many other bands were canceling their concerts, Ozo Motley put one on, high above the hills of Los Angeles. And they asked the crowd that night to kneel for a moment of silence. And over a nighttime hush, they said, we are not patriots of America. We are patriots of the world. And instead of believing in a war on terror, they asked the audience to believe in something else. An alternative to violence.
administration called. Hey, Condoleezza, give me a bear and get Kanye Wizzle on the phone. We need to talk about something that really matters, like keeping steroids out of T-ball. <laughs> yes, that Bush administration, and they called these guys to see if they would actually become cultural ambassadors for the U.S. State Department. If they would follow in the legendary footsteps of Louis Armstrong and Dizzy Gillespie and represent the U.S. government abroad. Now, while many people worry that Ozo Motley's trips to places like Vietnam and India and Burma, Mongolia and so many other places would make them pawns in the government's game. The band insisted that no, these trips were part of their bid for global patriotism. Their bid to make connections between communities all across the world too long oppressed by U.S. foreign policy. And when they got to Madagascar, they got a shock. To talk, you know that they are lying. Whoa. So wake up every day and ask how you are living. Does your heart just want to take, or will you so keep giving? Whoa. Don't ever let them miss you over, grab a mic. I will show you a beautiful that you are. You preach love and hope, but you also advocate for revolution, for turnings over, for cycles of change. You say, Sufro, siento, rio, lloro, callo, grito, por toda mi gente. All while remembering LAPD beatdowns against Chicanos. And you chant, let it burn, well, while you update the LA riots as a hood hot uprising for blacks and Mexicans. And in the words of Emma Goldman, if I can't dance, I don't want your revolution. You say, we got faith in what love can do. But sometimes you gotta burn the American flag in front of LAPD headquarters. And in 2006, when millions marched for immigrant rights, you said, Quema las fronteras y también barreras. But sometimes you just learn that that love and that change are the same thing. And that in the end, love comes down to you.
dealing with a question. What is a DJ if he can't scratch to a ranchera? And the answer to that question is simple. And it goes like this. If you're a DJ who can scratch to James Brown, or Parliament Funkadelic, or even San Francisco's own Sly and the Family Stone, but you can't scratch to the accordions and rural romance of a Mexican ranchera, then you're a DJ who will become obsolete. Because the DJ of now America, the DJ of the global edge, the DJ of a world where borders are closed to people but open to money, is no DJ if you can't compress cultural worlds all while letting us get our groove on at a quinceanera. Because it's far more than a question that Ozo Motley is posing. It's a cultural challenge. And in their music, you can hear them crossing their fingers that we will all rise up to meet it. The monkey, that mischievous monkey from the 15th century, he's been ready for a long, long time. But the real question is, are you? Ladies and gentlemen of Ted, there's some percussion right underneath your seat. We want y'all to join us. Look underneath your seats, everybody. There are instruments beneath your seats. Mi madre, mi padre, también son de la tierra. Tierra. Y nuestros hermanos también son de la tierra. Tierra. También la gente de San Pancho también son de la tierra. Tierra. Todos del mundo también son de la tierra. Tierra. Y porque hay políticos que no recuerden a la tierra. Porque la misma canción, misma canción de mi vida. Con mi tequila y limón, yo canto a la vida. Muchas gracias.